Good morning! Or good afternoon, depending on where you are in the world and when you're watching this. And if you watch the replay on YouTube or I don't know what you're going to do. But my name is Whitney Nicely East. I am the broker for Whitney Buys Houses. We're a real estate firm in Tennessee and in Georgia. And I have my husband here with me today. We're both working from the house. And he buys apartments. So he's got a little bit to share about apartments. And I think he's got a little bit of you know coaching advice to kind of share with you. Um, his name is Jason East, and I want to tell you that we're working on getting the final permit and absolutely buy a duplex with your husband for a rooming house. That's a great plan. Um, I'm working on getting the final plumbing permit on a house that we're finishing up the flip on in Knoxville. So today has been crazy, crazy, crazy. If my phone rings, I will try to swipe it and we'll get back on task. But here's Jason. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Hi, as Whitney said, uh, my name's Jason East, uh, and I'm her husband. Uh, we got married back in October, and I uh, wanted to talk to you a little bit today about coaching, what coaching could bring you, why you might need coaching. Uh, you know, they say the best motivational speakers are people that have been through hardship or had an adverse opinion. Uh, you know, you don't ever hear about a good motivational speaker, you know, that grew up in a great household and, you know, always went to church and never got into any trouble and, and things like that. So um, one of the things I want to talk about is coaching. Uh, when Whitney came to me, uh, you know, years ago before we were even married and told me that she was fixing to write a big check uh, and she was going to do coaching for real estate, uh, I thought she was completely out of her mind. Um, I, I couldn't believe it. Um, I told her it was a waste of money. It was a scam. All they were going to do was take her money. She was not going to get anything really okay. out of it. Um, I, you know, if, if uh, the I always uh, referenced it to church camp. You know, when I was a kid, my, my parents would always send me off to church camp uh, for a week during the summer. And we got all excited and we came back and we were going to do all this stuff. And then it just kind of faded away. You know, nobody ever took any action on it. So uh, that was my initial response was waste of money. Uh, you know, not, not going to ever take any action or do anything with it. And, you know, as much as it pains me to say that, uh, boy, was I wrong. Um, you know, she, she got started in it. Um, one of the skeptical things I guess I had to begin with was she was doing coaching mainly around lease options and, and lease purchases. And, you know, that just wasn't a concept that I was able to grasp my arms around. You know, I grew up in a middle class family. Uh, most of my friends grew up in a middle class family. Uh, you know, we all put 10, 15 percent down and went and got a mortgage. And, and that's the way we uh, had our housing. You know, I, I wasn't exposed to, uh, you know, the, the great percentage of people that can't qualify for a mortgage for whatever reason, whether it be, you know, bankruptcy or, you know, they're self-employed or, you know, whatever the, the long list of reasons might be. So uh, she started this process um, and, you know, she got an hour a week. Uh, that could be supplemented with, you know, emails if she had questions, uh, things like that. And so um, one of the things that uh, got me very early was just how excited she would be after the coaching. Uh, you know, she had this tendency to want to come tell me about, you know, what she had found out and she brought deals to the table. They told her exactly what she needs to do uh, with those deals. And so that was one of the first things that grasped me was, wow, you know, she's getting very uh, good knowledge from an experienced person that has, you know, done this before. Uh, so, so that was probably number one. Uh, the second thing was, you know, kind of what I just mentioned was you get very detailed information about specific deals that you're working on. Uh, you know, you can do real estate for three or four years and every deal you do may have uh, a different twist to it, a different turn to it. Um, and, and that's one of the things I liked about seeing her go through that process was they were coaching her on her deals, not something out of a textbook, not a hypothetical uh, you know, scenario that was dreamed up. It was a deal live that she had on the table. So uh, that was the second thing that she got out of it. The third is probably the most important, and, and I was really glad that she did this, was it kept her motivated. Uh, she would come home some days and she had talked to sellers and, you know, she just wasn't getting through to them about, you know, what she was trying to do and how it could benefit them. And, uh, you know, she just really kind of be down. Um, 
And the coach kept her motivated. Uh, you know, n- nothing against her. I've, I've told her this before. Had it not been for the coaching, she might have given up. Uh, that she just had those days early on when, you know, it never looked like there was any light at the end of the tunnel. And and thinking back on it, um, that's probably the biggest thing that she gained out of it in addition to the knowledge. So I was very uh, glad that she did that. Um, And when I made the decision last year uh, that we were going to take the plunge and I was going to start getting into real estate transactions myself, and uh, specifically my deal was to focus on apartments, uh, there was never any question. Um, You know, I signed up for coaching and mentoring uh, from day one. Uh, you know, got the great knowledge, all those type of things. Uh, the program that I actually am a part of is, is great because you have individual coaching, but you also get it as part of a group coaching. Uh, somebody's asking me which program. Uh, the apartments was actually through Anthony Chara. Uh, you know, he does one day seminars and then does four day boot camps and, and he actually shows coaching through, um, his particular program. Uh, Very knowledgeable guy, very knowledgeable uh, coaches. Uh, It's worked out really great. Um, But, uh, you know, like I said, you get the individual coaching, but you also get some group uh, calls every other week on Wednesday nights at 9 p.m. And what they do is there's a guest expert that comes on uh, every two weeks, and it might be a property manager. Uh, it might be an uh, IRA uh, real estate related, um, self directed individual. Um, it could actually be somebody that's uh, an inspector that, that tells you these type of things. Insurance um, could be insurance. So um, you know, you you do get that knowledge. But then the second Wednesday uh, meeting of every month you actually get to see live deals that people are working on and they actually pitch them to the group. And we've had a couple of situations where we had a strategy laid out on what we wanted to do with something that we had under contract. And based on what somebody else is doing, we actually totally did a 180 and and went an opposite direction and it's worked out great. And and that's something that, you know, now that I've, you know, gotten into it, I've probably analyzed, you know, 150 to 200 properties uh, since we started. We've actually closed on three uh, last year. We've got some right now that we're looking at to do um, p- potentially for this year. Uh, but it's taught me a lot about just how much knowledge you can gain from your peers as well, you know, whether it be networking events and and things like that. So really, really enjoyed that. Um, It's been um, it's been great up to this point. And so, you know, if you're thinking about coaching, uh, I can tell you that when Whitney did the residential coaching, uh, when I did the apartment coaching, um, we more than paid for the price of admission on the first deal that we did. Um, you know, so if you're thinking about doing it, uh, you're thinking about a waste of time, uh, I can tell you if you do it and you do not succeed, it will likely be because of the effort that you put in, not because of what you learn uh, or the method, uh, methods that you're, you're actually taught. So um, just thought I'd throw that out there. Uh, you know, if you were thinking about doing uh, either individual or group coaching or, or maybe even a combination of both. Um, you know, Whitney does have a coaching program that, that she has started. Uh, a couple of people have already signed up, uh, you know, already. Um, she does rock. Thank you. And um, so, you know, if you're thinking about it, uh, but you're still a little skeptical, if you got any questions, uh, you know, feel free to, you know, reach out to Whitney. Uh, she is the coach. So if you think she's biased and you'd like to actually ask me some questions, uh, that would be OK as well. Uh, my email address is jason at eastpropertyholdings.com, and uh, you, you can reach me there anytime. I try to get back to people within 24 hours. If I'm out of town, uh, you know, might not happen, but um, I, I'll do my best to do that. So, Give them my website. Um, if you want to find out more about Whitney and her programs, uh, it's whitneynicely.com. Uh, she has things, you know, information on there about the um, the coaching program, uh, things like that. You know, the, the other big advantage that I'd written on my list that I, f- I forgot to um, mention here is in addition to the knowledge, usually with coaching, you get a lot of useful tools. And it could be something as simple as a lead sheet 
or it could be, you know, copies of sample contracts, um, you know, just things that people that have already forged that way and have already taken the time to go through and, and actually uh, do the work. Um, from the apartment standpoint, I'm a very analytical person. I mean, that's what I do in my day job is finance and I deal with that, you know, numbers day in and day out. So when we started talking about doing diligence on, you know, 20 apartment units, 46 apartment units, you know, whatever, I was looking for some tools and, and my coach actually gave me a spreadsheet uh, that helped me with the due diligence. Um, and, and it's just been wonderful. So uh, hope y'all have a good day. Uh, rest of the day well, I'm not done. enjoy your weekend and uh, I'm gonna hand you uh, back over to Whitney now thank you so that's Jason and um, as he said he's very analytical and I have a very small percentage of me that's very analytical but he knows what he's doing and somebody asked if we did uh, commercial coaching as well uh, we can we can do that that's cool uh, Kristen says bye but I focus on residential coaching or land coaching. Uh, I, do, I do not feel like I have done enough commercial deals to coach on that. But that being said, we've got 19 apartment units. So this time last year, I had zero. I do have some experience. I'm not sure I have all the experience like I do for residential. But it's cool. We can handle any of that. Uh, if you have any questions, send me an email, info at WhitneyNicely.com. Uh, and you can check out all of everything that we do offer right now, WhitneyNicely.com. And thanks for joining us this morning. We'll talk to you all soon. Have a good weekend. Again, the email is info at WhitneyNicely.com. Thanks. Y'all have a good day.